Welcome to the All Plan Quick Start Lesson 7, in which we will now create some terrace components. What should you expect from this lesson? In this lesson, we're creating the terrace boundary walls, the terrace covering on the bottom and at the top, two stairs, and we take care of the space for the rubbish containers. We again begin by opening the building structure, right-clicking in the background, and double-clicking one of the drawing file favorites that I prepared in order to load it. Lesson 7, 1, start. This drawing file favorite activates the practice drawing file that I have prepared for the terrace components so that we can again focus completely on drawing. We exit the building structure by clicking close. First, we create the boundaries of the terrace. To do this, we right double click on the curb concrete 10 centimeters in the Quick Start Wizard architecture. In the plan, I zoom in on this corner, click on it, turn the wall structure over if necessary, click on the next corner, and complete the entry at the transition to the next thicker boundary wall by clicking again. I exit the function by clicking Escape twice. And I open the 2 plus 1 animation window view again because I now want to view the drawn components again in the animation. Let's continue with the next boundary wall. Curb concrete 20 centimeters. After right double clicking on this, I enter this wall into the plan and create the other two short wall pieces in the same way. To create the bottom terrace covering in this area, I right double click in the wizard on the wood terrace covering at the bottom, checking here whether free is active, and the height is minus 30. Then I left click on this corner, left click again on the opposite corner, and press escape. All plan now knows the placing region I have planned. Since I do not want to enter any other area, I click on Escape again. All Plan then asks me for the reference line, and I click on this line. The placement should begin here. I click on the point and confirm the distance of zero with the Enter key. Zoom into the upper point, and click to indicate that the placement should end here. I ensure that we have selected this placement setting, and that we have specified a number of 20 boards. I click on close and confirm the query with yes. I exit the entire function by clicking escape. In the wizard, I zoom onto the wood terrace covering at the top, right double click on this line, and repeat the process from before for the slightly higher terrace, only this time it has a few more corners. Check that free and height 0.00, .00 are entered. Click on the first corner and ensure that the area detection is active. Click in the middle of the placing region. Press Escape because the placing region has already been entered. Click this line as a reference line and then determine these two points as the starting and end point. In the toolbar, then select this placement setting and the number 59. Click Close, Yes, and Escape. I decide to only show one window, and so I go to one window here. From now on, I will just switch an animation view on with the shortcut F4, and when I no longer need it, I will simply turn it off again here. Here is a practical tip. I can switch off Window Connected and then see that using F4 leads to a type of full-screen animation, which I may like better than the downsized animation. 
This is, of course, a matter of preference. In this case, the full screen animation has been enabled in addition to the plan. I can see that here in the window control. Simply closing the full screen animation brings the plan back to the front for me. Before we place the space for the rubbish containers by simply setting them down in the plan from the wizard, let's quickly take care of both stairs that are needed here and here. To do this, we right-double-click in the wizard on the running line of the prepared stairs and click the four outline points of the stairs, starting with the first step. All plan now knows the stair outline and the walking direction. We check that the height is set this way by clicking on Height in the toolbar, confirm this by clicking OK twice, and then close the function. We confirm the query by clicking Yes, and could now assign a name to the stairs. I will now do this by clicking Escape. The small stairs are now created. The stairs on the other side of the terrace are created exactly the same way, with the exception that I select a bottom level of minus 35 for these. I have created the space for the rubbish containers with simple 3D modeling, that is, with simple boxes that I have given a concrete texture. In the wizard, we simply circle this area, zoom in on the left upper corner, and left click once on this. The small model is now attached on the crosshairs. I will see this as soon as I move the mouse from the wizard over the plan. I move to this corner and left click. The model is set down and I exit the selection by pressing Escape. Clicking on F4 shows me the finished terrace. To complete the lesson, we now load some of the components I have prepared by selecting the drawing file favorite. Select Lesson 7 2. By the way, the substructure for the terrace is created just as easily as the terrace covering itself. I have prepared these data. To view the substructure, simply switch off the drawing file 122 in the building structure.